Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer at Envoy Extreme here. Here we're looking at five new mods that dropped very late, and they dropped around about half past nine here in the UK now, so yeah, completely unexpected. Usually mods drop around 5pm at the latest in that here in the UK now, but anyways, we've got some Friday night mods now, and these are by MR Studio, and it's collaborations with Scarbonet, a Brazilian company that specializes in agricultural equipment specifically when it comes to mulching and rolled in terms with the impact in the game here so anyways as always time has to be done below so let's start off with looking at this this is the scarbolet rear dump agriculture platform it is two slots on console 2.54 megabytes to download and yeah so you can find this under tools and miscellaneous go towards the end so yeah, I've got two of these here because these do come in two different options of as a build trainer that has an option for one small square bell, so that is the 108 centimeter square bells. Also, you can carry 1,500 liters of product, so really something like this would be more for, you know, possibly clearing manure pits and that, you know, cow barns and that, or, you know, just transport the old like, bowsers and that, or old little tanks around the farm. But as you can see, it has all the fill types down below. Uh, it says it requires 75 horsepower. Don't know sure too why on that. But yeah, we'll have a look at that in a sec. And yeah, weight, weight is 375 litres. And a 2 meter working weight for that. This is very interesting because, yeah, it's saying working speed that. Maybe actually something like this would be like a stone picker. That's what I'm thinking here. So we'll go and test it. So. As you can see, got an option for, you know, as a bell loader. And yeah, so really not much to say about it in terms of configurations and all that. So, go back over. Yeah, there's no real customizations apart from the capacity or as a bell trainer. So, what I'll do is hop into the John Deere here. And yeah, let's have a little look here. Because this is a nice little bit of kit. Yeah, but if I had to guess, perhaps more like stone picking that for the one that's got the capacity option that. But yeah, so with the controls that L1, right stick left to right, pivots that. And right stick up and down, raises and lowers it. And then yeah, you can just have a quick dump if you wish. But really, yeah, it's more for this and that, so there we go. Get you hooked up. Don't need me you're out. I was to say, actually that does pretty well, to be fair on that. So, I do have some stones in the field. So I'm wondering, can this be used as, you know, like a stone picker and that? Yeah, actually I'm not too sure, so... Because yeah, also yeah, i got an option to raise and lower the platform and that, so... Because yeah, I've got a nice big chunky field of stones here. And yeah, again, I don't get why it says it's got like a working speed in that, you know, working width. Yeah, very peculiar on that part, but yeah, I didn't think it was that, because I did some early testing I did. You know, when I set things up like, with my mod reviews and that, I do a general test of equipment. Things like make sure there's no bugginess with like, AI workers, or you know, just general bugs and that, but yeah, overall, nice little quality mod. Obviously, Something like this is really more suitable for, you know, your smaller tractors than that. So, for example, Reese, again, transport, you know, your bell here and there to between fields and that. Or the little tanks, or, you know, just transport stones and that, or whatever you want from one place to another. Yeah, it's not really for large-scale farming. But at the end of the day, it's a good quality one, that. But anyway, so it's the Scarbolet Real Dump Agricultural Platform by Scarbolet and ML Studio. Next. Now for the Scarpalet Reversible 11 Blade. This is by, again, Scarpalet and MR Studio. 2.74 megabytes to download. And what we've got here is a, essentially what is a leveler. However, this can also be used to create a field. So yeah, 2.74 megabytes to download. Slot count is 2, goes down to 1. I can find this under Tools and Levelers. So Levelers just over here, go towards the end. Base price five and a half grand, weighs five hundred eighty kilograms, three and a half meter work width at six miles an hour. 
So yeah, you got options of open fields, so that's working in the fields. If you just want this as a leveler, then that's what you select. Besides from that, no color customization or anything like that. So first of all, we're going to go with this one here, which I think is the one I've got configured for working in the fields. So yeah, L1 next, fold and unfold. Then yeah, color of the lever if you wish. And if you want, yeah. You know, just create new fields in that. And rather than leave it like a plow state in that, it leaves it in a cultivate like state. So yeah, if I go over here, go to my ground types in that. And yeah, can't reset really too much of the equipment in the way. So yeah, it leaves a seedbed in that. So that ain't too bad actually. And obviously, when you lower it to any new fields in that, obviously, it'll just do the seabed cultivation in the field itself, so let's just go and test this now, let's see if it's like AI worker friendly in that. So there we go, in the field, drop it, lower it, and off the way we go. And yeah, with this particular setup, actually wait a minute, yep, <laughs> no matter wave, there's no option for the AI worker in that, which is a bit of a unfortunate. But whether or not you have this folded or unfolded, it can still do it, still work in that. But yeah, you got to have it. See, so yeah, it's unfolded. I don't know, it says, I'll be to lift it, lower it, then unfold it, so. Ah, actually, wait a minute, I think it's designed more as a front cultivator now, so, i.e., you can you know, attach it to the front. Yep, no, still can't hire workers in that. Eh, that makes more sense than that. So yeah, now we're cultivating that, you know, you're pushing your soil up. But again, I don't see it, well, again, I've seen, you can, it does work both way around. And, you know, actually I like that, you know, just the waviness of it now. Yeah, you slow down a bit. But that is actually pretty nice. Now to grab the leveler and see how that performs, you know, because I do have a huge side clamp over there. And let's see how this performs. So alright, there we go, with the John Deere once again. And yet with this, you do have the option to have final controls when you have the leveler option. You know, if you want precise control, you know, you want to sh shift it one way or the other, then you can do that. But otherwise, just keep as it is, and off the way we go. So, let's see what this can do here. So, mind the zip, raise it, lower it. And I just gotta say, it's pushing it, shifting it. It is definitely shifting it by all means. See so yeah, once again, drop it down. Yeah, I gotta say, rather than press on that. Let's see how it handles this big pile. Of course, this is a fragile power tractor with no weight on the rear net. You know, if I was going to do something like this with the lever in that, then I would particularly have some form of a weight on the back of this. Especially when you're doing this now, you to have that bit of extra traction in that. There we go. Again, it's hard to judge at the moment with this kind of stuff now because I do have a ridiculous amount of silage here, or chaff, 1.7 mil, oh, sorry, 1.17 million years. And yeah, overall, not too bad, good quality more now. So let's, go. let's try this again one more time. Raise it, lower it. There we go. Pivot it all the way down. And yeah, it shifts it, but yeah, it's not recompacting really it. It's more, again, it's a lever than that. So, if you want to compact it, then you've got to use your own means. Now, there's some mods that can help with the weighting of it, of compacting it. But for something that is just purely lever than it, it's got to say it's doing a good job in that. Definitely not too bad. But, anyways, that is the. Scarpalet reversible leveling blade by Scarpalet and ML Studio. Next.
Now for the Scarpalette RFS 400 knife roller. This is by Scarpalette and ML Studio. 7.38 megabytes of download, 5 slots on console. And what we've got here is a 4 meter worker width mulcher. So yeah, you can find these other tools on the mulcher. Let's go towards the end. And yeah, we want this one here, the 400. 8.2 thousand to purchase. Night like horsepower is required, weighs 3.6 tons. 4 meter work width at 7 miles an hour. And yeah, that is pretty much the same to the base game net. And yeah, at 8,200 compared to the base game net. I've got to say, yeah, it's pretty good value free money net. Go into configurations. As always, there's no customizations. Besides from the wheel brands and the wheel setup in that. So, because now we've got standards one, add tool. And then yeah, BKTs, and that's for the wheels on rear. But yeah, besides from that, no customization whatsoever. But yeah, actually, again, good quality more net. First impressions are nice. And yeah, and that's with all the other Scarpalette mods we're looking at today. They're all good quality looking. Yes, yeah, so at the end of the day, just got to make sure they are actually working properly net. So, for this, we do have an option to hire an AI worker. You can raise at lower said roller. Or mulching roller. So, from that, no other controls. See, so yeah, I think if we head into the fields. Not sure if it's going to work here. If not, we'll try it in the other fields over there. So, go and drop this. And off the way we go. And yeah, it looks like we're mulching. What about go to this tiled area over here? So yeah, it's not really doing anything as expected. So there we go. Now you can see we are mulching away. So I say, yeah, it does a good job. These good path for that. But yeah, it handles very well as well. You know, good controls and that. So if you're a bit, you know, a bit haphazard now with steering, you can sort of see I'm going left to right. I really not really missing anything in that, so overall I've got to say a nice little quality machine. At the end of the day it's a small machinery. And with a lot of these machines now they are again the company is based in southern Brazil Nat. Near the is it Uruguay border I think it is, or if you look on the map it looks close enough up. But yeah, this company's been going for what, I think it's nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety eight. But anyways, nice little quality mods, and yeah, it's really more for your smaller South American farms than that. But of course, you can use them anywhere in that. But anyways, that is the Scarpalette RFS 400 knife roller by Scarpalette and ML Studio. Next. For our penultimate mod of the day, we've got the Scarpalette RDS 900 Cloud Clod Crusher and Compactor. This is by Scarpalette and ML Studio. 3.57 megabytes to download, and what we've got here essentially is a roller. And yeah, it says work with between 3 to 9 meters. But I think potentially you can go absolute bonkers with this because it's one of those setups where it's two items. So yeah, got this one here with the T joint with the two end attachers. And then yeah, you also have an option to have this, which is the side rollers. But I think if you really wanted to, you can have this T-section attached to this T-section and over there, and then you know, just keep on going wide. To the point you can go absolute bonkers with this, but I decided not to do that today because at the end of the day, most came out half past nine, a bit late in the evening. As I was planning on going out or, you know, go out for a little bit and then live stream in later on tonight at some point, but anyways, yeah. Without further ado, you can find us under tools and rollers. There we go, go towards the end. And there we go, so yeah, got the T section, the 901, 5 grand, 75 horsepower is required, weighs 1.8 tons. So that counts for all these are two slots, go down to one, three meters at nine miles an hour. And once again, no color configurations or anything like that. What you see is what you get. And on to the 902, 50 horsepower is required, so that's what I say, with this you can go wider and wider than that, to the point where it gets absolutely stupid. But at the end of the day, 
got to have the horsepower to pull in that. Anyways, this is 4.5 grams, weighs 1.6 tons, so 200 kilograms lighter. 3 meters at 9 miles an hour. So yeah, with this setup here, we have a 9 meter rotor width. See, that end roller matches up to that end roller, so essentially what we got is 9 meters. Also, just a little note, so if you do have this and purchase, there is no raisin lower in it or anything like that, so... Just be careful on that because, yeah, as you see, we're attached and with no raisin option, which again is a realistic thing. Yeah, you're gonna be stuck at nine miles an hour, so yeah, a bit of a warning. If you want, these weigh 1.6 and 1.8 tons, so if you want to transport them far in that, maybe get a tie hander or something from the dealership and then load onto a lorry or something or a low loader trailer and then transport to the fields but otherwise this is going to be the setup here and this is how I go all set up for this map tour not map tour mod review that so eventually we'll get to the field and that there we go baby so yeah you can use this you know to prep your soil bed like we're doing here see we are prepping the soil so we're just, again, something like this is really sticking that. So rather than you know, have a fur field, a fur field with, you know, stones in that. Obviously these are the large stones, which is intentionally I created, but for most people you have small stones in that, so that's will roll them back in. That's what it says, it's a clod, clod crusher and compactor in one sentence, because it does have a multi-use function in real life. But you see, we are smoothing out the furrows, creating that ideal flat ground, so we bring the joy in later on, potentially. It does the job a good un. And of course, if you go into your other fields, I don't think it does anything in crushing ways. No, it doesn't. I thought I had crop destruction on, but... Yeah, so yeah, in general, it does nothing. It does nothing to like your meadow grass and that, so if you do have... Metal grass, metal grass around the map and that ain't gonna do anything because I day it is a roller, not a mulcher. But anyway, so that is the Scarpelet RDS 900 Cloud Crusher and Compactor by Scarpelet and Elba Studio. Good quality mods. And now on to our final mod of the night, really, not evening. Mod of the night. Now for our final mod of the day, we've got the Scarpelet Green 9000 Knife Roller. This is by Scarpelet and ML Studio. 17.57 megabytes to download, and that's off the mods of this late night mod. And we got something that is not grey, we've got a green mod in that. So, Scarpelet Green 9000 Knife Roller. Knife Roller allows you to monitor your ground variety trains and that. Yeah, 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 with the description. But for you folks, what it means in that, it's essentially just a mulcher in that. Working width for that is 9.8 meters. Required horsepower, 140, and it will set you back $24,000 reduce. And you can find this on your tools, under mulchers, go towards the end, and there we go. So it weighs 8.7 tons. Slot count is 9, goes down to 1. As I mentioned, 9.8 meter working width at 11 uh, miles an hour. But as always, there is no Color configurations, you know, nothing fancy in that. What you see is what you get. So, because it's green, I went with something red. And yeah, so L1X will unfold and then circle to lure it. There's going to be nothing, you know, customized in that with control groups and that. But I got to say, this is, again, with all the mods I've already mentioned that, but all the mods we've got today. Yeah, all that clipping through. I'm not sure why that's happened on my test map and that. But yeah, i got to say, going around, absolute beautiful. You know, like the poly count in that, like how detailed it is in that, is extremely in that. Got your warning signs, got your hoses, it'll look very nice. But yeah, again, excuse the clip in that. I'm not sure what I've been getting out with this test map and that. Have replayed FS25, not FS25. FS2 too, too much on the PS5 at the moment. Because, yeah, I was going to do a live stream tonight or go out or be make sure both nets at some point this evening. But, anyways, here we are. 
So yeah, out of the field, drop down, and yeah, oh, of course here yeah, you do anything because yeah, this ain't a recently harvested field. So let's go across here, and yes, yeah, get a first patch of land here. So yeah, look at this huge barley field. Drop the mulcher down, and there we go. Also, I'm not sure you actually know is they do raise and they're slightly different between the middle and the sides. Yeah, you see, the middle goes up first, then the sides. That is mm, a nice thing, actually. You know, rather than you just bang automatic up and down, it has that realistic animation after all the delay now between the hydraulics and that. Gotta say, once again, good quality more than that. Does the job it needs, and I love more an hour, Nat. I mean, day, you can't re complain, can't you, Nat? No, sir, re. But yeah, anyways, than that, so once again, as I mentioned a couple of times already, it's very small dropping out about half a sign here in the UK, Nat. But anyways, I appreciate good more than that, especially if they're late, better late than never, as I always say. But anyway, so yeah, that is all the most for the 8th of November 2024. And as always, if you're going to enjoy this video, then please leave a like, comment down below. If you're not subscribed yet, then please do. Whatever you choose to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be from Evelyn Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.